Hello everyone. My name is Mahesh Gantena and I'm working as a senior technical account manager here at AWS. I've been with AWS about 5 years and specialized in analytics. In today's video, we will dive deep into point in time search within Amazon Open Search service. Let's discuss paginating search results in Open Search service. We can use different methods to paginate results in Open Search. Let's start with from and size parameters. If you specify from and size parameters in your search, the results are not frozen in time. So it acts as a stateless. The results may be inconsistent because of documents being indexed or deleted. For example, if the user is on page 1 and viewing the results and navigated to second page, during this period, the documents might be indexed and the user might be viewing the duplicate results in page 2 it is also not recommended for deep paginations because every page request requires processing all the results and filtering them for requested page next one is crawl api the crawl api search results are frozen at the moment of the request but they are bound to a particular query crawl api is not recommended for regular user queries it is best to use for migrating the data or reindexing or for batch processing let's move on to search after it provides live cursor which uses previous page results to obtain the next page results finally point in time point in time does not have the limitations like other pagination methods because it is not bound to a query it supports consistent pagination going forward and backward Let's dive into point in time search. Point in time search acts on an older data set whereas regular search acts on a live data set. Other than that, all the capabilities are same. Point in time search is not bound to a query. So you can run different queries on the same data set which is frozen in time. You can use point in time with a domain running open search version 2.5 and above and also in amazon open search serverless to create a pit you can use create point in time api when you create a pit open search locks a set of segments for the index freezing them in time on a lower level none of the resources required for the pit are modified or deleted if the segments that are part of PIT are merged open search retains a copy of these segments for the period of time specified at PIT by the keep alive parameter the create PIT operation returns a PIT ID which you can use to run multiple queries on the frozen data set even though the indexes continue to ingest data and modify or delete documents The PIT references the data that has not changed since the PIT creation. When your query contains PIT ID, you don't need to pass the indexes to search because it will use the PIT. A search with PIT ID will produce exactly the same results when you run it multiple times. In case of a cluster or node failure, all PIT data will be lost. Let's navigate to Open Search Service DevTools in AWS console to explore point in time API methods and how we can utilize them in our search operations. I have created an open search domain and navigating to DevTools, I have also created an index named my movie index and ingested the data into it. Now let's look at the index mappings. So the index name is my movie index and all the mappings are here. I'm going to use the release date in our search operation to sort the documents. Let's use the regular search to search the documents from the index. So here I'm using the index name in search which will return the documents from the index. So we have 1503 documents in the index and the index name is my movie index and we got 10 default result from the search now let's create the point in time reference to create the point in time reference we have to use the point in time method 
here we have the index name in the point in time keep alive parameter so when we use the keep alive parameter one hour open search locks all the segments for that time period let's run the method so we got the response in the response we have the pit id which we will be using for all our search operations in the number of shots in the creation time to list all the open point in time references we can use point in time with all so let's run this and we can see all the open point in time references in the response now let's search the documents from the index using the point in time reference that we have created so to search the documents with point in time reference we don't need to pass the index name instead of the index name we will be passing the point in time object with id and keep alive parameter which is optional let's run this so we got the results from the index and the index name is my movie index by default we got 10 results from the index let's use the default search and see what are the results so with the default search we also got the documents from the my movie index and the only difference at this point we can observe is with the point in time reference we will be using the pat id in the default search we will be using the index name in your api method now let's see how the point in time reference will give us the constant results when we search the documents before we do that let me ingest couple of documents into the index so here i'm using the bulk request index name as my movie index and here is my document and i have another document for the bulk operation let's run this those documents were ingested and indexed in the my movie index now let's search with the default search and identify the number of records so we can see the number of records increased from 1503 to 1505 and let's use the point in time reference to search the documents in the index now you can see the total hits from the index using the point in time reference are 1503 because when we create point in time reference the open search locks all the segments for one hour period as we mentioned in the keep alive parameter though we have indexed documents the point in time reference segments were not changed we have seen the difference between the regular search and point in time reference search now let's use the sort operation so here i'm using the point in time search along with size parameter and also using the sort operation on release date let's run this so we got the first 10 documents from the index in sorting order using the release date we got the results from the index in sorted order using the release date so we can see the first record is from 1939 and the second one is also from 1939 but on different date when we sort the results we can see the sort field in our document which can be used in search after method to retrieve the next page results so let's look at the search after method using point in time reference to use the search after method we will be adding search after let's take this art value from the last document and use that in our search after we can see the last document has the release date as 195859 so the records will be fetched after this particular date so let's run this search method with search after 
So we can see the results from 1959-717. So the point in time reference helps us to have the consistent results for your pagination using from and size along with search after for the deep pagination. Now let's look at the method to delete the point in time reference. So you can use point in time with a delete operation. You can pass specific point in time ID or you can just delete all the point in time references using underscore all. Let's delete with point in time ID. So once we run this, PIT will be deleted. So now if we go back and list all the PITs, we'll get empty results. We have reviewed creating point in time reference, listing all the open point in time references and deleting point in time reference. In addition to that, we have used point in time reference to search the documents in the index using from and size parameters and search after for deep pagination. The point in time feature in open search service provides a consistent view of your data during search operations. As a best practice, remember to create, use and close point in time references to reduce the resource usage and maintain the health of your open search cluster.